Wow, we're late! <laughs> Click on play and get ready to learn the time with Max and Kira. Good morning, kids. Spring has arrived. Oh, don't fall back asleep. It's time to get up and enjoy this wonderful day. Hmm, I have an idea. <laughs> Max, Kira, it's nine o'clock. Time to get ready and go to Toon Toon Pet School. Kira, after class, we'll be able to play with wigs. Right now, you have to have breakfast and get dressed for a day of learning. <laughs> ah, I understand. You haven't learned how to read time yet. No problem, I can teach you. Check this out. The short pink hand indicates the hours. These are the big numbers of the same color. Okay, I see you don't understand. <laughs> Let's see. When the short hand points to number one, it means it's one o'clock. And when it points to number two, it's two o'clock. That's it, Max. Lunchtime. <laughs> Meanwhile, the long blue hand states the minutes, which are also painted in blue. Each hour has 60 minutes in total. So every time the long hand goes all the way around in the clock, an hour has passed. Check this out. Now the clock shows two. But if the minute hand does a full turn, an hour will have been passed and it will show three. That's it, Kira. Time to rest after eating. <laughs> right now, it's nine in the morning. Time to get up and get dressed. What do we do at half past nine? That's it. At half past nine, we have breakfast. And at 10? Very good, Max. We go to school. Now you, Kira. What do we do at 6? Snack! You're so smart, Kira. <laughs> and at half past 8? Dinner! That's it, Max. And at 9? We bathe! So, what do we do at half past nine? We go to bed to rest. That's it, kids. Now that you've learned how to read time, you're ready for a super fun day. <laughs> wow, it's 10 o'clock. We're late for class. <laughs> Hi, Max. Hi, Kira. I can see you've got your school bags all ready for your first day. Hmm, but you've used them so much that we might need to get new ones. Also, if I'm not mistaken, today you have pet's gym class. So, we also need to get you dressed for that. Let's not waste any more time. First, we'll get you dressed, Max. Let's see what we've got here. First, let's put on some sweatpants. And this Toon Toon School shirt will let the bus driver know where he has to drop you off. <laughs> but a puppy can't go to school without a jacket like this. And a pair of sneakers. You're all ready, Max. You'll see. Max looks really handsome. <laughs> but it's your turn now. That shirt is so pretty. I'm sure you'll look great in it. Yes! And with these pants, you'll be even prettier. Let's see what else is there in the closet. Wow, your sweat jacket has a hoodie. 
And with these sneakers, you'll be able to run around during recess with Max. Now, we only need to get the school bag ready for the rest of the classes. Look at these bags! They are so cool! But now we have to fill them! <laughs> Apart from gym class, you'll also have maths and arts. So, you'll need a calculator. And some colored pencils. And of course, some notebooks personalized with Ruby's face. This way, even though she's still too young to go to school, you can start introducing her to your classmates. <laughs> but first, let's finish this with some food for recess. A couple of juices. Food for puppies. And food for kitties. You're ready to go, guys! Have a wonderful first day of school! Hi, Alex. Hi, Max. I see you're having tons of fun at the beach. <laughs> Though, it's a bit late and starting to get cold. I think we should head home. <laughs> it's okay, guys. We can also have fun at home. <laughs> Plus, you've got sand and sunscreen all over you. So, it's the perfect time for a nice soap bath. <laughs> You'll go first, Alex. We have to scrub well to get rid of those stains. Huh? What's that noise? <laughs> Oops, Max has also got into the bathtub. That's because he loves bathing. <laughs> Much better. This way, we can bathe you both at the same time. Let's go for your hair, Alex. Here's the shampoo. We put a little bit on your head. Oh, be careful. Don't let it get into your eyes. No, Alex. Max can't use that shampoo because his hair is different. He has this shampoo for doggies. He likes it better. Right? It's important to scrub very well to get rid of all the stains. And Max as well. <laughs> but be careful. He's a very good puppy and we don't want to hurt him. For the rest of Alex's body, we'll use the shower gel. We put some over you, especially where the stains are. <laughs> and now we scrub with the sponge until they're all gone. Just like that. Hold on. Done! <laughs> now, time to rinse yourselves. <laughs> Perfect! Let's get you dry now. <laughs> what a mess, Alex. We're brushing your hair in a minute. But first, let's get Max dry. But not with the hair dryer. It makes a lot of noise and it could scare him. It's better if we use a towel. Now time to brush Alex's hair. Done. And Max as well. <laughs> he really enjoys it. <laughs> We're finally done, guys. You are ready to go back to the beach tomorrow. <laughs> Hi, Alex. Hi, Max. Oh, Max, are you sick? Hmm, it looks like you caught Kira's cold. Don't worry, it's nothing serious. You'll see, Alex will take good care of you. <laughs> or rather, Dr. Alex. Come on, let's get ready. We need to hurry up. We don't want your patient to have to wait too long. First, we need to put your pants on. 
You'll be very comfortable with these shoes. That way, you'll be able to focus on what matters. Curing Max! And a good doctor needs a shirt like this one. With tongue depressors to check your patient's condition. <laughs> Here are the tools you need. A stethoscope. To hear the heartbeat. And your doctor's briefcase. Great! You're ready, Alex. We're here, Max. Oops, so many boogers. We better get a new briefcase. We don't want to spread the virus. Dr. Alex? What's the first thing we need to do to cure Max? That's it. First, we need to blow his nose. With a handkerchief like this one. Very good. Way to go, Max. Now we need to check out his tongue. With one of the wooden sticks. Open your mouth. Oh, what a color. You're certainly sicker than I thought. Very good idea, Alex. Let's check his temperature. That way we'll know if he has a fever. Max, open your mouth again. Wow, you're burning up. We need to find a quick solution. Syrup, great. Here, this will help you. How are you? Are you feeling better? Great! You're better! I'm not surprised. You had the best doctor in the world! <laughs> so now that you're okay, you'll soon be able to play again! Hi, Alex! Today is Max's birthday! I thought, since he is such a good puppy, that we should prepare something special for the party. <laughs> good idea. But this time, I was thinking about something different. Ah, oh, I know, we can make a birthday pinata. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Making a birthday pinata is not easy. But it can be really fun. <laughs> and we can choose the shape we want. <laughs> wow, such a good idea. We can make a unicorn pinata. <laughs> and we'll use all the colors in the rainbow. <laughs> this time, we're going to use a really big balloon as the basis. And we're going to stuff it with candles and treats. I'm sure Max will be really surprised when he sees what's in the piñata. <laughs> Done. We can start blowing it up. Let's blow, Alex. Very good. Well done. Let's keep on. Making a birthday piñata is not easy, but it can be really fun. Here it is. So we use it on all the balloons so we can glue all the decorations afterwards. Done! Now time for the paper mache. We just need to put pieces of paper over the glue. So we'll have the white bases for the unicorn. But for the eyes and the mouth, we're going to use black cardboard. It's going to be so cool! For the ears, we'll use cardboard. But white and pink this time. And last, the multicolor horn. Done! We finished our unicorn pinata. Hi, Max. We made this pinata for you. Alex, 
Do you want to do the honors? <laughs> Happy birthday, Max! <laughs> now, you can enjoy the party all together! Hi, Alex! Hi, Max! Today, we get to play again with the costume roulette! Behold! We can dress up as soccer players, firemen, pilots, or… oops! Do you know what this logo with the star means? Well, let's see if we get it so we can find out what it means! It could be a sheriff! Although the stars they have in their plaques are different to this one! Wow! So lucky! We got the star! <laughs> Should we start with you, Alex? <laughs> I can't wait to find out what costume this is! <laughs> How cool! Now I know what it is! <laughs> Do you know, Alex? <laughs> it's a ninja costume! <laughs> Do you want to wear it? <laughs> Great! First, we need to put on your pants! Now the top! It also has a hood! But I'll put it on later. Otherwise, you'll get too hot! <laughs> Let's move on with the shoes. They look light. That means you'll be able to run stealthily without anyone discovering you. Here are the accessories. First, I'll put on your belt. And now your mask! Great! I can put on your hood now! Alex, you look so cool! No one will be able to recognize you! Yay! We already know what the costume is, Max! Ninja! <laughs> Calm down! We'll start right away! First, we'll put on your pants! Now the top! And of course! Ninja shoes! Here are the accessories. This colorful belt will look great on you. And finally, the mask. Wow, you look so cool dressed like that. <laughs> it's so cool you're dressed up as ninjas. Also, they're almost invisible and no martial arts. <laughs> Wow! Alex already knows how to play ninja! So cool! You can teach Max! Let's play, guys! Hi, Alex! Wow! What a mess! Do you know what happened? Mmm, what a mystery! Ah, I just thought of something! What if we dress you up as a secret detective? That way, we can analyze the evidence and discover who's behind this mess! Yay! And you! What other professions would you like to dress up our character as? Tell us in the comments! Good! Let's not lose another second! Time is crucial to catch the suspect! Detective work is very important, Alex! And so, it's essential to dress properly! First, let's put on your pants! And now, the white shirt and the tie! Wow, Alex! We only put these two pieces on you, and you already look great! Finally, we put these shoes on you! That way, you can chase bad guys! <laughs> let's see what else we have here! Wow, so cool! So many things! First, we need to see how the trench coat looks on you! <laughs> it looks good! You're going to be a very elegant detective! I'm sure this matching hat will also favor you! But if there's something a good detective can't miss, it's his magnifying glass! Great, Alex! You're fully prepared to find the person who made this mess! Let's analyze the clues! Based on what I see, 
the suspect likes to play with paint. Look, Alex, these spots are different. I'd say they are footprints. Dog paw prints. The circle of suspect is closing, Alex. Who do you think may be the culprit? Sure, Max. Great job, Detective Alex. We'll find him. Ah, here's Max. And of course, there's no doubt that he was the one who stained the house. <laughs> Hi, Kira. Hi, Ruby. Hi, Max. I see that you liked your super suits very much. <laughs> Oh, I understand. You love Kira's new supervillain power. Sure. What do you think if we play to turn you both into villains like her? Max, we'll start with you. The first thing will be to wear pants like these. And now, we're going to put on your shirt so you have protection against superheroes. <laughs> Look, here are some glasses similar to those you used to make rainbows. I wonder what superpower you will have now with these glasses. While we discover it, I'm going to put on your cape. You'll see what happens, Max. <laughs> Wow, that's so spectacular! <laughs> it's your turn, Ruby. Look how many things! It has more clothes than your superhero costume. The first thing will be to put on the main suit. You look perfect, Ruby. Now, let's go with the belt. This bat-shaped mask is super cool. And finally, it's time to put on your cape. You look very cool, Ruby. I'm loving it. <laughs> Max and Ruby look great dressed up as villains, Kira. But we still don't know their new superpowers. Wow, your new superpower is to control light and electricity. This is a wonderful power. But now that you play villain, you'll have to be careful. And you, Ruby? Wow, what a cool superpower! You grow! <laughs> Supervillain pets! <laughs> Hi, Kira! Hi, Max! Oh boy! Those pajamas are too old and worn out! Hmm, I don't think you're going to be very comfy sleeping with them. Don't worry, kids. We can choose new jammies. I think I have some in the closet. Let's start with you, Kira. Let's try jammies on. Sleeping comfy is very important, so we can have a lot of energy to play afterwards. <laughs> Let's see what we have in the closet. Wow, so cool. We have lots of options to choose from. Okay, we're going to start trying them on to see which one you like better. For example, let's start with this polka dotted one. What do you think, Kira? Do you like it? Are you comfy? Hmm, I think you are a bit small. Let's try another one. Ah, I know. Let's try with this cute one. Let's see how it fits. So, are you comfortable? Great! 
That means it's your size. Do you like it? <laughs> Don't worry, we still have one more. Let's leave the one with the donuts in the closet. And let's try this blue one. What is it, Kira? Do you like this one? Amazing! You have new pajamas! And it even has bunny ears. <laughs> it's your turn, Max. Ready? Let's see what we've got for you. Wow! They're great! First, let's try these dragon jammies. <laughs> hmm, it's very original. But you don't look very comfy, right? Don't worry, let's try another one. Let's see this one. It's silk, so it should be comfier. <laughs> I see, what you don't like is the classic style. But I'm sure you do like pizza. <laughs> do you want to keep this one? Aw, our pets are so cute when they sleep. Sweet dreams, kiddos. If you had fun with this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel. And join our great Toon Toon Games family!